Well, we just want to start it off with uh, Dr. Amin um, Adam. Uh, four years on, were some of these expectations what you anticipated uh, when the commercial quantities were started 2010? Hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, it is my uh, pleasure to be part of this conversation, which is to discuss how transformative our oil and gas wealth could be as far as developing our country, as far as delivering positive and tangible development outcomes uh, to our people. My expectations about the discovery of oil in Ghana were varied. One, because we have experiences of countries that were able to transform their oil and gas wealth to development for their people. But we also have experiences of countries that became oil cursed countries. In other words, countries that were not able to transform their oil and gas resources to the development their people wanted. And so my expectations were varied. But I also believed that Ghana was going to be a different experience because we have been mining oil uh, and mineral resources, solid mineral resources, gold and other natural resources for some time now. In fact, in the case of gold, for more than a century. And our experiences have not been the best in terms of how transformative we have looked at solid minerals. And so for me, I thought that Ghana had learned enough lessons and we were going to change course as far as managing our oil and gas world was concerned. What so, did we do wrong? And so if you go to Obuazi and other mining communities, you will see what we did wrong, especially when you compare that to communities in South Africa. Also, up to now, Ghana does not have a framework for managing mineral revenues. And so the money comes, it goes to the consolidated fund. Nobody is able to track the money. Nobody is able to tell what we have used that money for. And so we are reduced to a rent collector. Also because we have not been able to add value to our solid minerals. And so when we discovered oil, most of us, especially I thought that we would change course. And so I expected some uh, initial steps that would lay the foundation for Ghana to be able to manage our oil world in, in a very different way from the way we manage our solid minerals. We are, it's, it's still early days yet to say that we haven't met those expectations that I have. It's early days yet. But there are signs that already show that if we continue the way we started with oil, business as usual, I can say that 10 years on, we will all not be happy that we even discovered oil and gas resources in Ghana. And so my, my expectations are still varied. They are still mixed because I see hope that if Malaysia has done that with industrialization, if Indonesia has done that with agricultural development, if Trinidad and Tobago has done that with human capital development, Ghana can do it. But as I said, if we have to do it, we have to do it different from the way we manage our solid minerals. Otherwise, we will also be reduced to examples such as Equatorial Guinea, which has not been able to make it with oil, Angola, which has not been able to make it with oil, and our neighbors, Nigeria, which is still found wanting in terms of translating their oil resources to development. 